money and credit in this topic we will learn about modern form of money and loan activity we have seen that money is something that can act as a medium of exchange in transactions before the introduction of coins a variety of objects was used as money for example since the very early ages indians used grains and cattle as a medium of exchange thereafter came the use of metallic coins gold silver copper coins a phase which continued well into the last century currency modern forms of money include currency paper notes and coins unlike the things that were used as money earlier modern such as gold silver and copper the modern currency is without any use of its own then why it is accepted as a medium of exchange it is accepted as a medium of exchange because the currency is authorized by the government of the country in india the reserve bank of india issues currency notes on behalf of the central government as per indian law no other individual or organization is allowed to issue currency banks accept the deposits and also pay an amount as interest on the deposits in this way money of people is safe with the banks and they can earn an amount as interest people also have the provision to withdraw the money whenever they require since the deposits in the bank accounts can be withdrawn on demand these deposits are called demand deposits a check is a paper instructing the bank to pay a specific amount from the person's account to the person in whose name the check has been made bank keeps only a small proportion of their deposits as cash with themselves for example banks in india these days hold about 15% of their deposits as cash banks use the major portion of the deposits to extend loans there is a huge demand for loans for various economic activities in rural areas the main demand for credit is for crop production crop production involves considerable costs on seeds fertilizers pesticides water electricity repair of equipment etc farmers usually take crop loans at the beginning of the season and repay the loan after harvest repayment of the loan is crucially dependent on the income from farming every loan agreement specifies an interest rate which the borrower must pay to the lender along with the repayment of the principal collateral is an asset that the borrower owns such as lands buildings vehicle livestock and deposits with banks and uses this as guarantee to a lender until the loan is repaid if the borrower fails to repay the loan the lender has the right to sell the asset or collateral to obtain payment property such as land titles deposits with banks livestock are some common examples of collateral used for borrowing interest rate collateral and documentation requirement and the mode of repayment together comprise what is called the terms of credit